I'm Chris Hansen. You may know my work from NBC's Dateline series, To Catch a Predator. Week after week, suspected child predators who thought they were meeting young victims were instead confronted by our cameras. I have the transcript of your online chat. Today, there's another battle happening at airports and other transportation hubs around the world. I'm proud to support the nonprofit Airline Ambassadors, a group of airline and airport employees dedicated to putting a stop to human trafficking. It's the second biggest crime in the world, right behind drug trafficking. You may be on a flight soon and sitting next to a human trafficking victim and not even know it. The question is, do you know how to recognize it? At a training session in Washington, D.C., flight attendants share stories of past flights where something just didn't seem right. I had somebody on the airplane that I was sure, um, a young adult woman that I was sure uh, was going to be trafficked. Michelle Crick remembers a 22-year-old with a one-way ticket to Europe traveling to see a man she had met online. So she saw him on Skype. Yes, and I said to her, do you understand they can be somebody else and not who they say they are? So. She looked at me like I had five heads, and mm -hmm. I just realized that these girls really, you know, have no clue what they're walking right. into. People don't think that trafficking happens on airplanes, but it does. It's a mode of transportation, and it's not just airplanes. It can be buses, it can be trains, but we are training our flight attendants and the general public, we hope, to keep an eye out for this. It's happening in plain sight. And victims are often uh, traffic from poor to wealthier countries. The nonprofit Airline Ambassadors is training flight attendants and other industry employees to spot the signs of human trafficking. Warning signs that include not having control of their own travel documents or appearing frightened, ashamed, or nervous. These passengers may be under the control of another passenger and might even be unsure of their destination. Once flight attendants recognize a possible victim, they're trained to quietly alert the pilot, who would then notify the ground crew at their destination city to have authorities waiting at the gate once the plane arrives. You estimate that every flight attendant here sees a thousand people a week, at least, that's kind of conservatively. That's 4,000 people a month. Do the math, it's well over two million people that will be scanned as a result of the people we've trained so far. And for some of those flight attendants, the mission is deeply personal. That kind of, you know, reminded me of my mom, her story. So, you know, it's, it just, it's just driving me more and more to, I want to learn everything I can about it. Kim Hart's mother was just 14 years old living in Vietnam when a relative sold the girl into work slavery. She was crying and she wouldn't elaborate on what else happened. Um, it really tells you that it can happen to anybody. It can happen by anybody in your family. It's just, it's scary. Perpetrators are trafficking as many as 800,000 victims across international borders every year, moving their victims frequently to keep them powerless. But this problem was really not in the United States until 2000. It hit the United States like a ton of bricks because it's a business and they learned about it. And so drug traffickers said, well, it's a lot easier to sell a child. World News with Diane Sawyer. With every big sporting event, there is something in the shadows. Sex trafficking. Airline Ambassadors is raising awareness wherever it's needed, including the Super Bowl. They're distributing thousands of these wallet cards, reminding airline employees of what to look for and who to call. And holding frequent training programs at airports around the world, designed to empower flight attendants who see something to say something. And it's already saving lives. The training works. In Boston, a child prostitution ring smashed. 86 children freed after an airline worker noticed a man traveling with two crying children. We've caught a dozen. All because the airline worker had been trained to look for telltale signs. I always felt that if I look the other way, I'm just as guilty as a trafficker. If I know what's going to happen to those girls from Moscow when they get off the plane, and I don't report it, and I don't try to help them, I'm just as guilty as the guy who's doing it to them. Whether you're the CEO of an airline, you're working a flight as a flight attendant, you're flying the plane, or you're pushing the broom, you want to do the right thing. And we, we're teaching you how you can easily recognize it 
and report it. And in that action, save the life of a child. For airline ambassadors, the goal is to have monthly training sessions at airports all around the world. But to get that job done, they need your help. To volunteer or provide financial support, go to the Airline Ambassadors website. And if you spot something suspicious while traveling, you can call the Department of Homeland Security's tip line. Airline Ambassadors is fighting hard to end human trafficking at airports around the world. And it's up to all of us to help.